Welcome back to Storytime with a Scientist. Today I am joined by Ken and Rachel, and we will be reading Matter, Physical Science for Kids by Andy Dian and illustrated by Shalulu. Matter. Birds in the sky and rocks on the ground. Things made of matter are, are all around. Solids and liquids and gases too. Make up the world, including you. Matter is everything, everywhere you look. Well, almost everything. How can you see to read this book? If your friend looks sad, you might ask, what's the matter? Matter is something that can be wrong. When something is the matter, a good friend helps you feel better. Maybe they share a cupcake with you. Maybe they stand on their head and make you laugh. Maybe they just sit close by and wait until you feel better. Have you ever heard someone say, that doesn't matter? What if you spilled your cup of water? Your teacher might say, that doesn't matter. What if you used your brother's toothbrush? Your brother might say, that doesn't matter. But it probably, but probably not, yuck. Matter is more than something that can be wrong or something that happens. Matter is much more. When scientists talk about matter, they are talking about the stuff that makes up almost everything in the world. Your dog is made of matter, that tree is made of matter, and you are made of matter. Matter is anything that takes up space and can be weighed. How do you weigh things? With a scale. How much do you weigh? How much do your shoes weigh? How much does your dog weigh? How much does that tree weigh? What about air? Is air made of matter? What happens when you blow air into a balloon? The balloon stretches bigger and bigger and bigger. The balloon might even pop. Because the balloon gets bigger when you blow air into it, you know that the air takes up space. Air is made of matter. What about juice, water, and milk? Are those, those things made of matter? When you pour juice into a cup, the cup full of juice is heavier than the empty cup. And you can see that the juice takes up space. And when you drink the juice, your belly feels fuller. Many things are made of matter, but everything looks different. You look different from your dog. Your dog looks different from your milk. Your milk looks different from the steam that comes from a boiling pot of water. Matter can have many different shapes, colors, and sizes. Matter can be a solid, liquid, or gas. Do you have ice cubes in your freezer? What happens when you leave an ice cube on your kitchen counter? It melts into a puddle of water. And if you leave that puddle of water on the counter, unless your mom makes you clean it up, it disappears. Plasma is another state of matter. Have you ever watched a lightning storm from the window? Lightning is a plasma. You know what else is made of plasma? The sun and all the stars. There's more plas plasma in the universe than there are solids, liquids, or gases. What are some things that are not made of matter? Look around you. Can you see something that doesn't take up space and can't be weighed? How about sound? How about rainbows? How can you see to read this book? Light. Does light take up space? If there's lots of light in a room, does that mean other stuff has to get shoved over to make enough space? Can you hold light in your hands? Can you put light on a scale and weigh it? How would you keep it all together so you could weigh it? 
Light is not made of matter. Light does not take up space and it can't be weighed. Heat is another thing that is not made of matter. Can you think of more things that aren't made of matter? Most things are made of matter. Your home, your classroom, and your neighborhood are all filled with matter. Take a walk. You'll find matter all around you. Next time someone says it doesn't matter, you can tell them everything is matter. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ken and Rachel. I really appreciate you taking the time to read this book with me, and I hope everyone at home enjoyed this as well. Stay tuned for more story time with a scientist, and we'll see you soon.